Oops. Did you just say you want to go back to derivatives? I did too. I feel like I got derivatives. I can do a derivative. <laughs> I thought I had. They're sickly. Don't, don't listen. Okay, it's fine. All right, so basically, let's talk about definite integrals. Okay, so which means that we have a start and end point. That's what it means by definite. Okay, um, so if you're going from one value to the same value, it's always going to be zero. Okay, because mm -hmm. you're not going anywhere. There's no rectangle. You can't draw one. Okay, um, if you're going from B to A, right? It's the negative of from A to B, right? You just do it the right way and make it negative. Change the sign. Um, kind of like that true and false question, okay? Um, a to B would be the same as A to C and then C to B, right? As long as, like, this matches this, then you can just go from here to here. Right? Because it's just talking about those two chunks and then just add them together. So it's the same thing as the whole thing. Um, da, da, da. Okay, so if it's asking you to multiply the function by a constant, okay, you just do the integral and then pull that out. Um... If it's asking you to do it of the sum of two functions, just do the integral of each one and add them together. And if it asks of, um, of a constant number, just do that number times whatever b minus a is. Okay, again, all seems harder when it's letters, but when we apply it to numbers, it will make more sense. Okay. All right, so let's... I almost had you guys do this on your own yesterday, but then I decided not to. Cool. It's not hard. You just have to read. Okay, so this is telling us that from A to B of F of X is 8. From A to B of G of X is negative 3. From A to B of H of X is 5 over 2. So we're going to use those to figure out A to B. Not B, A. A to B. Also, you read down. Right? Yes. Okay. Bottom to top. So this one wants B to A of G of X. Three. Yes, it changes the sign. Good job. Okay, so this one wants A to B of 2 times F of X. Eight times two. So 8 times 2, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so this one just asks, is asking about 5. Okay, five times whatever B minus A is. We just don't know what A and B are, so we just leave it as A and B. Wait, why is that one more? Because of this property right here. It's just a number, okay? It just represents a constant number. So we have five. Right, but there's no f of x or g of x or h of x. There's no function. There's always a d of x at the end. Ugh, I think I'm getting an ear infection. Why don't you put Ugh, hurts. Why don't you put b of a instead of a of b? I'm confused. Because it says to do b minus a. That don't make sense. Why? The bigger number minus the smaller one. B too. How do you know that? It says b minus a. So... No. no. Because you like you split it up, right? So it's from A to B of 5 plus from A to B of G of X. So we know that this is 5 times B minus A and G of X is 3. So that would be your final answer. Because uh, there's a reason, and I don't remember what it is off the top of my head right now. I'll tell you this afternoon when I have time to look it up. But the dx is always there. It's just part of it. It just means that you're different. Like you're doing it with respect to x, basically. It is, but it's like it should be in final answers and stuff. 
Not in final answers, but if any time you're writing an integral, it should always be at the end. So, e of x is 5 over 2, but therefore, since e of x is on the outside... Not d, d of x is nothing. What are you talking about? Oh, it's h of x, my bad. h of x dx, yeah. All right, so then on e here, okay? Yeah, so split it apart. So basically you can do 8 minus 5 over 2, which is 11 over 2. Did they move it? Okay, so then F is asking from A to 4 of H of X plus 4 to B, right? So since they're both going to 4, we know that that's the same as from A to B of H of X, right? So that would just be 5 over 2. See, that wasn't bad. At least your hair doesn't smell like whipped cream. That was a rough afternoon. Why is not plus 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2? Because this one says from A to 4. It, this gives us from A to B. So oh. since this one goes from A to 4 and this one goes from 4 to B, we know that that's the same as going from A to B. Yeah. They're just unnecessarily splitting it up. I like it's simple, it's just a lot of steps. Right now, or a lot of different things. How good I'm gonna get yeah, like I'm getting it explained to you. You just gotta remember those properties and just keep looking at them. Can we write those properties down? No. I mean, if you can to like work on right now, but you can't have it for a test, by a test you gotta know it, but. That's how things work, you gotta know Do stuff. You know about what um. Tomorrow. We'll probably have a quiz at some point after we get through this kind of section here. Although. So are oh, we yeah. doing like, do we need to do anything Friday and Thursday? No, that's why we're having class right now. Are you rafting or are you... You're rafting? Yes. You don't have to, Caitlin. You need to. You should. Yes, you can't swim. I can swim. You have a life jacket. No. I can't you have to wear a life jacket. Hey, can you keep yourself above the water? That's all that matters. And worst case, you have the life jacket, just let you float up. It's fine. Yeah, the life jacket. The rafting will take you right up there. Just because I filmed swim test that one time in the water. I don't get it that way. You you but jumped in you and had swim had under a floating, that's it. Yeah, facts. She failed. Oh, <laughs> you got your nose like, plugged. Like, you just gotta go. No, under. you could. It was the jumping in part. Like, I jumped in. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> she was drowning. I literally pulled on. Didn't have to get any good. Yes. Did it? I didn't have to be able to no, you see me, I wouldn't yeah. jump in because I'm just going to hide. I would just sit there. So like, no, I no Isaac, the dock's here, the water's here. I was listening. Oh. Listen, I swear, though, I get it, Caitlin, you're fine. Because I swear, it's like I have to reteach Bryden how to swim every year if you haven't done it in a while. Like, like I know. Water just scares me. It's okay. I don't like water. I, the ocean scares me. Same. I get. You can't Adam can't is get like, the ocean. like Captain Fearless in the ocean. Like, he's been pulled through a riptide before. Like, yeah, I would die. Uh, same. <laughs> I stuck by a jellyfish. You did. I stuck by a jellyfish. I'm allergic to it. No. No, but you want to know. You're supposed to put vinegar on it. What? Nothing. You pee all over. It happened when you were with us. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Hell Mountain in my family. Mm -hmm. And then we were well, stuck on a clam thing and cut my foot wide open. Adam's also been stuck by a jellyfish at Hell Mountain. I stuck for like 10 hours. Everyone got stuck in that jellyfish. It took me. Yeah. 
So are y'all scared of the water was or what's in the water? It wrapped around, I have a picture of it wrapped around, not a picture of it, but the picture of the steam. Oh. What happened? Did you just straight up wrap? It was like, yeah, I slept, like, he gave her bitter <laughs> drill and she's out. And I was like, I was wondering why you were sleeping so long. It, it, it was like infested with jellyfish. It was. And so it always we, is. We were with one of Summer's friends and her son Mary like Alice. jumped up screaming. And so we all started running and it got me. Okay. All right. So let's figure this out. Okay. So this one says if the integral from one to five of three times the function plus four is 34, find the integral from one to five of just the function. Uh, wait, I think I can do this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Got to work it backwards. Use those rules. Are you that backwards? All right, so we know that... But it says 1 to 5. 10! 3 times 10 plus 4 what equals 34. 1 to 5. Okay. No, because says... you have to, like, you have to multiply, and then you have to split it apart. Yes. Yeah, but I'm just trying to use my head. <laughs> oh, my, we're not confused. I've never understood anything in here before. Right, so you split it up. Like that? Is that what you're talking about, Caitlin? Good job. Wait. wait. So it's not 10. What is the number you have in front of? 3. Whoa, why did you stick it in front and not just do 3 times 20? Because the property says to stick it in front. We're trying to figure out what it is without that. Where be this property? Okay, so now this one we can leave alone for right now. This first one. Since that's a constant, we know it's 4 times 5 minus 1. All right, 4 times b minus a. Where did you say put it out back or put it in the back into 5? Because it's not there. What do you mean put it in the back? You just put the three and just like threw it out of the problem. No, I just moved it out. You're allowed to do that. It says so right on the other page. Okay. So then four times four is 16, right? Yeah. So subtract that. Dylan, how on earth are you typing this right now? He's well, I'm, typing? I'm multitasking. Tasking. Like, what are you typing? Probably an English paper. I'm multitasking. Okay. Then what do I do? Any thoughts? Multiply the 3 times the 8. No. You divide. I'm so sorry. You multiply <laughs> yeah. the divide. Because we're trying to find that. So an integral from 1 to 5 of f of x is 6. That's not there. Was not 10. Well, I was much, trying to use this much easier than the graphs in my opinion. Plus four. The graphs like just kill me to death. <laughs> I'm not gonna have to worry about that. My writing is not good enough to do that. Like you get in trouble, like for cheating. What is five? But no one's using AI. I mean, I'm sure some people are, but like most of the people who are getting told they're using AI aren't using AI. And so now I'm terrified of writing papers that are using AI. Huh? Well, have me write it. Don't worry. What five? This five? Yes. One to five. These right here. Oh, you put those in. Mm-hmm. So 14 hours? Is that it? is the truth, yeah. Kirsten studies 15 like, hours of... A day? No, not a day. She works. For credit hour. 
So you should spend nine. two hours for every credit hour. For every class. hour. How am I supposed <laughs> to not get on of What if I'm just a good writer? Just do the right thing and you'll be fine. This dumb your essay down. But this, this one person didn't even get his honor code violation until three months later. And you tried after TikTok? <laughs> All right, Emma, you can't stress about so stuff like that. Out. Don't be. You got worry about the current moment right now. You'll be fine. Cheating in calculus is not a thing you can do. I'm convinced. I don't think you can. I got a 92 on Jameson's college calculus test. Okay. Um. That is crazy. You are carrying all right, let's. We got 15 minutes left. Um, start on your homework. So we'll work on that in class today. Yeah, 6.4 homework. So. Yeah, that's what we'll do now and between now and then. Um, really, we should be able to get through 24 with no issues. Okay. Okay. Um.